So here we are at the battle camp on Izorugi Island. So here's Utsuka, and despite beating Dr. Hell, peace on Earth ain't happening just yet. A laws and anti Federation forces are still uh, clashing, and Cohen and Stinger are still at large. Um, Japan uh, so far has been holding on to the independence it enjoyed before the Federation's founding, like regular Japan, not Area 11 Japan. Uh, but Utsuka has had multiple attempts on his life uh, made already, and he won't be able to hold off a -Laws forever, though he is pretty handy himself, despite being like a middle-aged fat dude. Uh, but the big worry, though... I'm talking about fucking Miyado Peacecraft here. Uh, but the big worry, though... Yeah, and Shura's like, yeah, the Crushers can deal with nothing, we're good, we're good, we're the best boys. But the big problem is Mugay's Albados. Um, thought about fucking Vader bullshit, yeah, so. Gestalt and the Metal and Mugay. Um, so, like, Mugay's Albados' his agents, including Sayori, possessed by him. Like resurrect the dead and torment the living, and it sucks. But nice if we could, like, just if only we had to deal with just day laws, it would be nice. Um, here's Takaru's mother, who's heard about the devil ring that Takaru's got, and she sits him down to talk about it. And he admits that the pain is gradually getting worse and worse, but because it's not a physical device, it can't be removed with surgery or anything. But Takaru assures his mother that he's going to lead his life right, what's left of it, and he's going to keep his promise uh, to his brother, Marg, um, to defend uh, universal peace as long as he can. And she's not going to try and stop him, but she asks him to remember that she'll always love him. Elsewhere, the Twinkle Project is uh, still holding uh, concerts and they're doing them outdoors and it's good. Shinobu finds this uh, like a little ironic. Um, but most of the Dankuga folks are prepared to enjoy the fruits of their labour, so yeah, here's uh, like Dr. Hell or Insulin or whoever, just bring it on. Gonna have this friggin' idol concert or whatever. But you could have a break once in a while and then uh, Ao is like, uh, you so hot blooded even on your days off? He's like, but they have this bullshit, and um, uh, yeah. But it's like even though the good stuff is being, the credits being given to A Laws and the Federation, and like, hey, we're secret agents who get stuff done. We're the the secret heroes. That's fine enough. But Shinobu hates it. He thinks it's just bullshit, and um, and now he admits that. Uh, her senpai. Uh, his old fashioned way of doing stuff is her jam and she finds it pretty hot. He's like, really? And Sarah's like, this idiot! Huh! As if anybody could like him! Huh! It's like, what was your problem, Sarah? And then Crow's like, alright, alright, lovebirds, everyone fucking calm down. Just rank is coming on stage soon, everybody. And then uh, Sarah calls these jokers the uh, ex brothers. The, the Cross Brothers for um, Shinobu and Crow to shut up and stop um, annoying the other or the other people in the audience and then Crow's like wait 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 what wait what 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 wait what 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 uh, yeah so it's like um, let's see if the guy translates it at all no okay he doesn't um, but yeah, she's calling him the 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 cross the cross combi, but like that's not combi. It's uh, Agon brother. Um, he's like, wait, what's that mean? He's like, well, yeah, the cross because um, Shinobu's got slanty eyes, and Crow's got droopy eyes. So Shinobu's eyes point down, like go. Like they're up on the outside and crows are down on the outside, so together their eyes make an X. And it's like, wow, that's rich coming from you, Sarah. Have you seen your fucking eyes? People think you're an alien because your makeup is weird. 
But anyway, enough jokes from these idiots. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now he's like, wow, maybe she's just mad because she didn't get to go to the concert. But hey, the Twinkle Project's going to be good. And it's like, wow, it's still popular. And uh, Ada's like, yeah, I got enjoy it. Whoops. Um, but Cheryl is missing in action, so it's mostly like pretty much just Ranka who's being hailed as the anti vajra messiah. Did the old Dankuku people in the new kids actually meet in the extra show? No, there's like a little bit where they're in, like, you see a little bit, but Fog Sweeper is meant to be Shinobu. So you just sort of see it in a flashback, but they never meet ever. But uh, yeah, it seems like right that so, like ever since you saw an island three, she's like she's been the anti vagil lady, but she's gonna go be an idol again. Hell yeah! So she gets on stage to do the singing, like uh, she's like uh, she's wow, wow, wow. and she's like, okay, everybody, um, um, I I can't sing. Sorry, sorry, I can't sing anymore. Bye. And then everyone's like, whoa. whoa, whoa. It's like, what the hell, Alto? You, you, you freaking having making Ranka feel good? You can't sing. It's like, not my fault. Fuck you. But yeah, and it's like, this isn't good. Everyone was looking forward to Ranka singing. It's like, oh, we're gonna have a riot. And then Masara's like, I get it, Ranka. <laughs> so listen to my song. Look at him, he's rocking out. But Basara! And then here's Ray. It's alright, Ranka. We'll take to the stage on this one. Basara's got this. Yeah, and they're like, we'll take care of this one. Let's go, Totsuki Fire! And then Pierre is flipping his shit. He's like, I love Fire Bomber! I'm burning up! I wish Osma could see this! And Michelle's like, aren't you going a bit overboard, Pierre? Please. Like, Basara's been part of Zexis for some time. He's like, my life's complete! Fire! And then Kan's like, well, it's not like he's always singing, like, all the time. And he wasn't scheduled to perform today, so, you yeah, know, it's a nice surprise. But it's like, hey, so what's up with Rank? Well, like. Rank can have a rest, and it's like, Osmo, wish you could be here, you'd have a good time, it'd be a nice uh, collab. And this is like, so, uh, what's up with Ranka then? It's like, yeah, you weren't around for when it happened though, but she's been through a lot, and music's got the power to reach uh, the hearts of all who hear it, and it carries the emotions of the person who sings. And Ranka's heart is currently filled with sorrow and doubt, so that's, you know, it sucks. And I was like, I think I get it. And Shinji's like, how do you know this Lakers? She's like, well, I used to be a singer, right? And then Esther's like, Alto, shouldn't you be sorting this out then? Esther! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, do, 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 yeah. So Alto uh, wishes he'd notice sooner. And this should have been like, love, this is stupid. Pfft. I don't get that stuff at all. And then Shinobu is like, hmm? Hmm? Why so down? Even wild beasts um, know how to love each other. Maybe you should be more honest with yourself. And, um. And then um, Masada is like, yeah, maybe Sarah should be less afraid of uh, loving others too. It's like, Dude, Masato, and it's like, wow, Sandman, just giving everybody advice. He's a wild dude, and he's incredible. And so it's like, okay, I'm... Sarah, he's like, I'm going to go be alone for a minute, all right? And it's like, ugh, whoa. And then Crow's like, so, you're going to go follow her then? He's like, duh, but Masara's singing. It's Dynamite Explosion, which is my favorite one, all right? Can't, yeah, okay, so he's like, I can't believe, yeah, he, um, yeah, okay, so he's like, oh, he opened with Dynamite Explosion, so all of the other songs are just going to be a letdown after that one anyway, so, it's like, what do you know about it? And he's like, I used to be in a band, so I know that kind of stuff, but anyway, I'll be back uh, after this song's over, so I'm going to go talk to Sarah or whatever, and Crow's like, all right, all right, all right, dude, we get it. 
you go get him, senpai. It's like, wow, that dude, wow, didn't like, and that's the power I love. These fucking jokers. Yeah, so Sandman's like, that's the ultimate happiness. To find someone who will love you for no reason and shower that person with reasons. The ultimate happiness. And was like, wow, he's incredible. Love must be as much a light as it is a flame. Fucking Sandman, absence diminishes mediocre passions and increases great ones as the wind extinguishes candles and fans flames. <laughs> but... It's okay. Um, so Ranker's just huddled in her dressing room and Grace is like, Oh, sorry, I didn't notice that you are having such a tough time. So you take some time for yourself to calm down. It'll be fine. It's like, yeah, no, like, I got it under control. It's fine. I'm a pro. I can do it. She's like, it's okay. Firebomber got the stage for now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And then internally, she's like, ah, yes. Her emotional level has fallen. Uh, it's minus 8.1. Too low to be of any use. Bad timing. Because uh, the Vajra's networking protocol. Network protocol. Um, is uh, like just been deciphered. But she leaves, and then Ranker's like, Oh, jeez, Cheryl Alto. There's no way I can sing when I'm in pain like this. It sucks. And then the door opens, she's like, Alto! But it's not Alto, it's that bad dude. Ranker Lee, you're coming with me. So. Ding. So he's it's like, oh jeez, I wish Shinobu wasn't such a jerk. He sucks. And then, S Sarah! Sorry, is it really you? I think there's trouble, I can feel Mugei's Arbatus nearby. Uh, Mugei? It's closer than you think. What? And then she says that uh, she feels something in the center. Uh, he did a, uh, yeah, so uh, she's yeah. She says she's uh, escaped from Yuge, who's held up in the Central Information Control Center. It's like, wow, you got away from me. It's like, yeah, that's right. Wow, really? That nice work, Sayori. You did it. And she zaps Sarah with a stun gun, and is like, actually, when I said escape, I meant come to fuck you over and kidnap you, eat shit. Um, but then Shinobu runs over and is like, yo, whoa. What you done to Sarah? He's like, Sayori got them. You guys all bought us. Fuck you. And then Yuge explains that Sayori's last wish, uh, wish was desire for Sarah. But with that over, he plans to create a new world using uh, Ranker's power. And it's too late for Shinobu to stop a new dimension being built. <laughs> and then, boom, Sarah, Sarah. And then chapter 48, God Bless Universe. Um, how are you against me? Friggin... The manager's not fired yet because she's giving everybody the good shit. They're what they want, good shows. Just because Ranker's fucking dying or whatever. Alright. Well, I gotta bring... This dude. Oh, nobody knows she's evil and making bugs happen. Only the bad dudes who are bad and want bad stuff to happen. So, uh, so what the heck's going on? And Johnny uh, helpfully explains that a new dimension has sort of half superimposed itself over this one, and so everything is a Mugei's Arbatus hellscape. Like, look at that weird beetle tower fucked up bullshit. It's awful. 
And then his Sayori Zalbada, she shows up and it's like, Hey, Sayori, what's she doing? And she's like, Yep, no, I am fused now, and I am evil, and it's good, and cool. And uh, Ranka's role in all of this is to sing, and her songs normally uh, overflow with the light of life. But wherever there is light, there is also darkness, and now uh, her heart can be plunged into darkness, the big old capital D, and uh, convert the new world into a, a, a awful hellscape and it'll be bad. And uh, Muge's Obada Saparial is going to use information energy, which is a real thing, look it up. Um, and uh, using the information control center thing that is now a big weird bug with a little weird face. Um, there, uh, he's hacking uh, Vader, and Vader cannot control it. But it's easy. We just gotta go save Ranker. That right, easy. Oh, that he summoned loads of stupid garbage. So we're gonna beat up all these dudes. He talks about the power of darkness. We're like, yeah, that guy's a real piece of shit. Hold up, while we got it. It's like, no, it's all right. We gotta rescue Ranker, and hopefully, Senpai, you know, um, and friends can sneak in the back and have a good time. So. Dagaru, Alto, let's go rescue Ranka. And I mean, we do have Basara, and he sings songs of life too, so don't worry about it. Let's give it a go, the power of darkness. But Basara's like, I'm not gonna give a shit about darkness or whatever, I'm just gonna play fucking Freebird. And Gammon's like, oh, the power of his heart, it's incredible. But Basara, you sing while Senpai gets around the back. Let's do it. I don't give a, I don't give a damn about this occult, occult Diado, occult bad dude. Fuck him. Didn't Lakers and her ever talk where she goes, you evil? Yeah, you suck, alright, we out. Yeah, but friggin' Lakers is evil too. That's the twist. Uh, the SR point is defeat 50 enemies by turn 4. Player, yeah, by turn 4 player phase, which is gonna happen. That's fine. Yeah, like Dan Cougar, most of its appearance in Super Robot Wars, they don't even have Mugez Arbalas in it, they just have um, uh, the other dude. Um, he's voiced by Norio Akamara. Look at his big fucking bug leg. Ooh, it sucks. I don't know, Pat. You say they keep weaseling their way back into plot relevant positions, and any super up was there. And they didn't fucking exist in V, so. And. Ever since Z1, they've been. Like, in all of Z2, they're. Oh, these guys are. Background characters from Gundam Zeta now. Depends what entry you pick to beat, and then like they're still not relevant though. <laughs> like they just go, oh yeah, the only reason you guys exist was just to be stupid bullshit for dragons and wizards. Yeah, exactly. They were a cross and subplot. Like just not really relevant. Oh dang!
can I show you China's power? Check this out. The Great One has amazing moves. Tell me that all the people. Well, one is really weird that you keep falling at that. And also, sorry that your life's so hard that an anime character that you don't like had to appear on your TV screen. Yeah, Jay has the um, Makamoto dude, dude, whose name I can fucking not remember now. It's okay, problem solved. Didn't even cough again, ever again, in my life. You tried not dying? Not yet. Look at Callan's boobs off, I hate it. Look at this shit, she's just Goku now. Like, none of these are even Nankuga bad dudes. I believe in zero. Let's go. Meow. Then Google Trash Book just pour out where that is. It's just it's just trash. It's just trash. That's the secret of Dan Cougar. It's not actually very good. Chibu Fujiwara. Oh, Shapiro. That's it. Shapiro is the Wakamoto dude. He's good. But yeah, Super Robot generally just has him as the bad dude of Dan Cougar. And like, because he's actually like a pretty good villain. Drill funnels? They're not drill funnels. They're just missiles shaped like drills, you lunatic. No, just drill missiles. Yeah, I like to make it like the like the attack that you see again where he does the sword and it's like still shot. It's like yeah, it's like that in the show because they had to save as much animation money as possible because it was super cheap. So there's just like, oh no, like, bomb, bomb, bomb. Wee, 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 
さん青山準備いいいいわちゃんとやってくれよ赤城はい青山出力最大Popular enough to get into the bridge.、Uh, Abari designed the robot, and Abari has a lot of pull everywhere、um, because he's really good at animating things.、Uh, unfortunately, he only had like what he's only got one robot design in him, as, as you can tell from like every Abari robot. Dan like Dan Kuga, the Gravions. Um, Compatikaiser from OG, it's like they're all very much of a muchness. They're all cool, but they are all very similar when it comes down to it. Yeah, don't let Obari ever design a person because you can't do it. And don't let him design a robot that's meant to be a lady because he'll fuck that up too. But he, like, he's alright at animating as well. Like, he did、um, a big chunk of the first、uh, Dragonar opening. I'm like, that's good as hell. It's just that. You have to tell him what to do. You can't just let him do it. Hell yeah, I implicitly hated on the angel with nibbles. Oh, it's awful. And then there's just the entire. Um, like. Outro ending of、um, the inspector's anime, where it's just. I don't think Obari has ever seen a human lady ever. Because none of them. This dude crossing his arms thinking he's cold. Like, he's definitely never seen a lady wearing any of the outfits that he decided that he was going to put them in. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Magun. Magun. Got Trial. Esther. Elhas. Guile. Sachiko Kojima. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, she's a Sakura Wars, sure, she's a Gunk Tenon, she's Angel and Cowboy Bebop. She's Susie Q in Battle Tendency, the JoJo's. She's Monad Proxy in Ergo Proxy. She's Moriyama in Cardfight Vanguard. Shimazu in Psycho Pass. Hekisu in Tokyo Underground. Yeah, his 2 to 9 instead of only range 1. Pretty good as an alternative.
she's Lady Orochimaru in Naruto. Yeah, she's Taki in Soul Calibur. She's Hana Ivanovich in Valkyria Chronicles 4. She's Akemi in Madara in uh, Way of the Samurai 4. Belial in Wild Arms 4. She's rogue in the X-Men anime and Japan version, the Japan dub. And she's Pearl in the Japan dub of Steven Universe. Who would have thought? Oh, Biosensor ready. He's got his shield in his plane crash. He's ready to fuck. Yeah, it's not post movement like This has a lot less good um, post movement options. But you can solve that with a skill compared to being range 1. The weird duck, it's scared. Gotta do this in one shot. One shot kill. Busting through. <laughs> that Earthmech has a bunch of bullshit. I actually think. Because of all these buildings, they got much less coverage being in ground boy mode. It's gonna eat that bug! Oh, what a cutting! Loving it. Then <laughs> you're bad. But I love you anyway. You're you're an alright dad. Dad in the up. Going down. Blammo. What a good and powerful boy that armor is. <laughs> Steady, dependable, full of missiles. That is everything you want from a dad. Can throw a robot 500 feet. How fast is fast do I have? And does he have more movement range than I can shoot stuff with Finbit? No. Absolutely not. I think the fastest we've got is 12 with Accelerate. And Amaro is 13 once the Psycho Frame kicks in. And on top of that, he's Movement 9 and he has charge, so his actual effective range is like 22. And he just is gross. And then there's these jokers with their 14 range punch. 
Oh yeah, this guy. That's right. I bought this dude. So he can show us the super robot force attack that he got. Super <laughs> Japanese super robots aren't the only ones. So yeah. He leaves these guys now because the tower's gone. <laughs> you ain't running! Run him down! Yeah, see, it's the same move. Check out Daitan 3's power. Get fought. Oh, there's a big bugler coming out of the ground. That's no good. You definitely don't want that. Like, that is what you want architecturally. I'm telling you that. Three. Let's look at Wayne. What's Wayne been in? Nothing. He's got a Wikipedia on him, so he's alright. It's wrecking Beyblade, it's Kazooie and Bubblegum Crisis 2040. Ah, oh, blessed him. Ah, oh, Full Metal Panic! He's telling me he's goddamn out. It's my guy, Macro 7. Yunkers in Monster. Sakakibara in Bokurano. He's Monster in Sexy Sailor Soldiers. How about that for a name? No idea. No idea. You know what? We'll go there. So you can get the follow up from our good friend. Um. The lady who voices Ambron uh, voices uh, Gizmo in Gremlins, the Japanese dub of Gremlins. Uh, she's Newt in Aliens in the Japanese dub. Um, she's Grandis in Nadia, the Secret of Blue Water, which is really good. And she's also Shodoro's girlfriend in Tetsujin. Hey Taisu, how you doing? Gun is apparently Mitsuki Saiga, so let's look at what she does for you. You can put together model kits as well, put them together as a bunch of unassembled boxes and stuff like that. Yeah, like the backlog's the most important part. Okay, she's Maria Ross in Full Metal Alchemist. He's Makube X in Get 
Dr. Wackens. She's a cowboy repop, just as a computer. Various characters in uh, Devil Lady. Raven in Zoys Codex Century. So an actual like main character. Psycho Jenny in the Apocalypse of Devil Man. Shintaro in Inuyasha. Jamie in Zoid's New Century Century. Uh Kyosuke in Song. Amidamaru in Shaman King, the young one. Oh, she's Jun in Mazen Kaiser. Eh? Is that the best you got? Nice crab leg, nice. Oh, she's Mamoru in Fafna. That sucks. <laughs> she's a monkey in Bleach, apparently. Chie in my Okame, if you into that or whatever. She's um, Benny Amakusa in the High School Host Club. Oh, she's Roshu in Girl Lagan. There you go. So that's Garni, it's Roshu. I don't know how you do the Stephen Colbert face all the time. She's just like, hmm, wow. Is that the best you got, sucker? You know what Zara Vire is? We look so it's from Gravion. Gravion's eye. She is extremely Avari. Freaking Tiz in Bravely Default, hell yeah! Love that dude. Oh, it's about me doing the pictures of the things. The weird little monster in my pocket. Kinniku Man muscle looking as fellas doing the stanky leg. Love that. Uh, you guys. Yeah, body slam that guy. How do you miss Die Guard? Just how? I don't know, I just learned Faith though, which is really good for healing up all of the hurts that everybody gets. <laughs> Oh, what the heck is this? Oh yeah, they just shoot the guns everywhere. Oh, I have a crap. Oh, she's seeding. Oh, here comes the acorn. Oh, oh, phew. It's a bit of the this Nice work, I did it. <laughs> You're going down.
It's got a little weird fella inside it. It just decided to do its worst attack. Because it's trash. Doing a drive by up there. Hold it, what are you doing? You don't gotta tell me. Time for a counter attack. You. Oh, yeah, well. Full power. Blamo. Finally, that guy's doing damage. See, and it's just as friggin' he's gonna hit me with his sword, which is also his spine. And if he'd hit Quattro, you would have seen that it's also a chainsaw. That thing's way cooler than Acorn Man, who sucks. Yeah, like he's gonna do the change attack now, but it'll miss. Carrion's like, is really about it. yep. It's Maximum Abari. See, like, there's the weird little fella. Like, the, like, Gravion shoots its sword out of its legs like Dan Cougar. When it's fully upgraded, it's all Gravion's got the shoulder guns that he loves. <laughs> Face the power of the sun. Like damn apples, you weird old fella. Didn't, by the way. He didn't like him at all. I'm gonna show you the power of Gishin. Never forgive my enemies. Sure, I like those things. Go, attack my enemies. Did that you actually look up? Uh, if you just look in Gravion's eye, under like Zeravaya and stuff, it'll have a stupid one, it'll mention it's a stupid part of the shit, it sucks. It's not the soldier Zeravaya. It's not the Garuda, right? Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Yeah, it's just Egg Zeravaya, I believe. I believe it's just the Egg Zeravaya. Yeah, and then uh, there's a transforming one, which is the hanging, hanging Zeravaya. They're not two beavers, they're mole rat snakes. And they were never funny, they were always deadly serious. The mightiest that Gishin has to offer. And this world will be ours! Flex! Give him the Destructo disc. <laughs> Where are you even looking? I 
I don't know if I'll do tomorrow or not. Like the the D and D's not happening for the other nerds. So who knows? I might I might not. We just have to see. Oh, he's getting me. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's spurting. Do essay, damn. Code red, white out of both. Oh my god, that's incredible. Do essay. Do essay. So, we blow up a bunch of dudes, but unfortunately the power of darkness is infinite. So, more bad dudes. What the heck? No end to him. And then, now oh, he's like, these friggin' occult dudes, I hate them. Captain America Special Edition Canada Dry Ginger That's definitely not America because it's Canada Dry. Go, my friends. Attack the enemy. She's like, all of yous. Get them. Your free move is gonna do it, Roger, or are you just that pathetic that you're like, and nah, I'll settle for the for the two hit kill on these? I mean, you dodged an attack though; it's big up, so holy shit, Roger. Do Dorothy's dream with electric sheep? Probably. Are they bits or finals? I think. I think they might be bits because they always come back. And they might be because they have to come back to recharge. But who knows? Mecha Brian, everybody reads his Mecha Brian. Okay, phew. Roger is powerful, finally. He did it. Oh. She doesn't even have the good cutting with the Harrow photo bombing her. So. Hell. Oh, the ship boat. No, oh, we got attacked. It sucked. Boo, I'm Bartholdt. I'm Ramborel, but if he lived, he's defected. Yeah, no air horn, just nothing. Just no point. A uh, stupid shit face. Just, I hate it. And now we're going to do the big boy move so you guys can see the big moves. The big boy move with the big gun boy who's a gun. So, Punch Boy turns himself into the bullet and he goes, I am become Bangan. Check out the light. Of the Viet Slippers. Wow, the rest they really gave it its all, huh? Oh, 
Oh, he's vomiting fire everywhere. Cro like, Crow's shooting mode is like objectively superior to the punch man mode. And like, it even looks like an evolution of the Raster. But shooting is stupid compared to punching, so. Yeah, like, become the bullet and punch a dude really hard, or use your little funnily spigot bits to shoot loads of energy, and then you shoot that energy at them, and then you're like, wow, I really went all out on that one. Rocket punch, good in. That's the issue you think you got. Oh, it's wrong. Something in your eyes or whatever. Like, that dial coming forward doesn't do anything except draw Koji's attention to it because he's an idiot. Like, he can just crank that up to max anyway without it going, Whoa, check this out, dude. Yeah, like the shooty one is best because it fits Crow's job as the support guy. Like Crow is the only dude in Z3, like the only original guy that you put in the back. Like all the others go in the front. But Crow goes in the back because he's not like strong enough to carry a thing in front. Like he's really good in the back, but he's not good enough to carry a pair by himself. This is the end for you! <laughs> yeah, why have snipers when you can punch someone to the moon? Exactly. Exactly. And that's why Camille is the superior magic brain boy. Because he fucking crashes a plane into you. And has a really big sword. Well, if you shoot little robots to punch over to death, well then you're a battleship. You're a battleship fighting with cool dudes by proxy. Do you paint just in a different shape? No, you just like burn it off. It's the power of the bird attack. Okay, don't mess this up. Wind blowing down the mountain of ice the, the big steel. The big steel mountain. Get them. I couldn't even kill a dude with your biggest move. Benke, you trash. Akagi has achieved invincibility and he's not even at like 60% health. What's even the point? What's even the point in attacking him? Buddhism. Burning 
Yeah, yeah, in a real life dance, you would definitely take Benkei and his stretchy arm robot every time. He can reach stuff on the really high shelves. Not when he's not in the robot, though, he's short and squat. But that just means that he can lift you up to reach the high stuff. の Bobby, I love Bobby a lot. He's good. Yeah, go on, crash into a mole rat. Well, you just climb the shelf, you just climb the shelf normally. You need zero gravity for that. But then you're a savage. This is Dark City, is bringing Mugei's old artists to the hell dimension. It's impossible! Bakana! Egg boy, he's hatched and he's ready, fully gestated, ready to slap you. Blammo. Yeah, this guy's the bit where they go, ship captains don't do any much, so they're all young, charismatic, or older grandparent like to boost morale. And then Yurika makes the hard decisions. Look at it, use the eye lasers at me. No, no. This is gonna show you what for. I'm gonna give it to you. Going down. By the way, you shot him right in his shit skull face. Oh, yeah, my green. Give him the flower to send him to the afterlife. Cleave your soul. You bad Farewell.
you missed your going, Fuck it. I don't know. That, he was rude to Margaret all the time. He kept calling her a dog all the time. My heart is steel. Yeah, this is the plan to send you to hell. <laughs> Impossible, my space boy robot. War robot should have axes. Also, a reminder that we never beat uh, Shival. He got turned into a dinosaur and then we beat him, but that's not the same. Shizume! Die, fiend! Shithead! Fuck face! Noodle neck ass, looking as weird dude. Oh! The in Z3, uh, the turn also has a really good animation on the dynamic kill on the Moonlight Butterfly, where it reaches out for the moon, it's good as hell! Destructo to skin that idiot. It's tie five in this guy with the boob socks again all the time, every time. Been confusing that dude. Big sword kettle yell. <laughs> Look at this dude. Thinking he's gonna do shit from far away. Crossing his arms, turning his legs into like a weird pile of shit. Get out of here. Kotro doesn't even get dodge penalty, he's too good. <laughs> Nothing beats. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that. I think. I think the axes might be better. Fist better than sword equals axes better than spear better than drills. Uh, and like, it definitely depends on the design of the sword. What about an axe drill? It's ridiculous. It's, it just doesn't work. Next with a drill on top, then that's a helmet. You fool. You've accidentally invented some primo shit. I'm gonna show him why I'm the main boy. Um, I, I think it's fists, axes, and then cool swords, spears, regular swords in my hierarchy of weapons. He's got all the levels he needs, but now he's gonna get this one hook, line, and sinker. Because <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's coat took it off. 
got too hot. Where the plasma stakes and revolver stakes are in? Exactly. 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 They come under the unorthodox category. Plasma stakes go on your fist. No, they also go on your knees. I would say they would count as modified fist weaponry, though. Because you use the a punching motion to use them good if you've got them set up like a good boy not like a separate gun like an idiot which is why the G revolver stake thing sucks Thirty-nine. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. But knees and feet also count as fists for the weapon hierarchy. It's just unarmed. But what does Captain Hook give you again? The the lure? It's unorthodox, so it lives outside the system. Oh, it's that dude with burps. Beam pitchfork weapons? Can't do that. It's just a beam trident. Kilo Gun has a beam pitchfork? It definitely has a beam trident. We did it, we blew up 50 dudes or whatever. Oh, look, they summoned more guys! Oh, jeez. Actually, Dan Cougar enemies, though, finally. So we get a. What the heck? They just keep coming. Dang it, no end to them! Oh, what's taking so long? Senpai. Meanwhile, inside. So, Sarah is uh, tied to a fiendish contraption by Sayori, and uh, she tells her that her only interest is in saving her. Uh, Sayori uh, says that the foolishness of humans requires an absolute ruler to rein it in. And conveniently, uh, the Internet and Information Control Network thing can do just that, um, now that she's uh, started broadcasting uh, all of the bullshit 
from the information center and Ranka is strapped to another one um, and she's going to be reborn as the idol singer of darkness um, Sarah says that that's stupid and she won't let Muge lay a filthy finger on Ranka and then he's like what the heck no I'm done with this bullshit Muge gets extremely upset yeah, she just says uh, that she can do as she please and you can't stop me. Um, and then she tells Kishimo um, to use Sarah as uh, bait um, for the intruders. And, uh, well, she'll get, yeah, take this woman out of here, alright? And she's gonna start on corrupting Ranka. <laughs> That's why it was a tri... The tri-dent. Oh, look, it's these shit dudes. The silver dudes from the moon. So, some of our nerds are in there having a good time. Um, Takaru, he's using his brain powers, even though it'll shorten his life, but he hates me again. He wants to let the rest of the Cyber Beast Force and, Taka, um, and Alto go on ahead because uh, uh, Muge stands at the top of all the Dark Forces so beating him is one of Takaru's big goals right now so don't worry, ain't that dangerous, he ain't gonna die so they will run off he's like, what are you gonna do, bring it, energy beam, full power I'm dying. And then Metal of the Gestalt comes up and says, like, Ha ha ha, you're finished, Amaz. He's like, Don't worry, I will put you out of your misery, because I'm a nice dude. Ha 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 ha. And Shinobu gets separated from his teammates. And because uh, he thought he heard Sarah's voice, and he did, but it's because Kishimo's there making her say bullshit, he's holding the hostage. So, uh, Sarah, Shinobu, and Kishimo's like, yeah, done, dude. I got your woman, you gotta do what I say, shithead. Yeah, he's like, is it your boyfriend? I'm gonna squish him. Get away, Shinobu, he's... What the hell are you saying, Sarah? I ain't running. It's the end of the line. You kidding me? I ain't gonna lose to one of Muge's little minions. Eat this! This fucking unloads a machine gun on him. And then he falls down, he's dead. Nice work. And he says, next time, <laughs> bring a machine gun. Unfortunately, he's a fucking Terminator. So, uh, unnecessary. Oh, jeez, nanny heck. It's like I thought, just as I thought, he's a cyborg. Then this is the power the Dark Lord granted me. <laughs> Could I? But punches him, he's like, Duh. He's like, run Shinobu, and he's like, I can see the fear in your eyes and all that bullshit. And he's like, oh, dang, I'm fucking dying because the Terminator's beating the shit out of me. And she's like, run, you'll die. He's like, Duh. And she's like, don't die, Shinobu. I love you. And he's like, oh, dang it. Big yell. Oh, yeah, the hell is it? Oh, blammo, the impossible. A human should be dead from getting hit. And he's like, yeah, a friggin' new gay minion, bad dude, cyborg will never understand the power of the human heart. Eat shit, the power of love. Yeah, curse you, oh, no, right? Yeah, he clearly had some effect, like, just getting all of his flesh off him, like, he seems mostly uh, untouched other than that. Like, he doesn't seem to give much of a shit. And then, uh, shut up, the machine man! Alan, you made it! It's like, hell yeah, we did, let's get this guy! And then they shoot him some more. It's like, that's it, we got friends, it's good. And then...
Uh, Ryo um, splits him in half with a big punch because he's the Karate Master. He's dead now, we got him! And then Terra's like, thanks everybody, we did it! And then Masada's like, you think Shinobu, he was worried sick and ran straight here! Well, he checked out other shit, he's like, really? And she was like, it wasn't anything like that though! This was, uh, that was, uh, shut up! And she's like, then why are you here then? Uh, well, uh... That, yeah, why, what is it? And he's like, well... Because I love you, Sarah, I guess. And then Ryo's like, oh, these dudes, these jokers. And so I was like, he did it. All right, you two, we need to get going. You guys can get a room later. I'm like, where's Alto? He's like, went to the control room in the center to look for Anchor. What the? Killed a cyborg with a punch, and I got, he fucking cut him in half, dude. So, here's Alto. He hooked up with Brera, and Brera's like, I will lay down my life to save Renka. And Alto is like, hey Mugei, how about you get the hell out of Sayuri right now? The power of Christ compels you shit. And then Mugei is like, well my mind simultaneously dwells in both this and uh, all of cyberspace. So uh, you're done, dude. Much like... Grace! And he's like, Grace, what are you doing here? And then he goes like, haha, this woman is actually a bad lady, but I'm not surprised you don't understand because you're an idiot. But I'm not going to hand over the dark idol singer now. Oh, jeez, they're doing shit to Ranka. This sucks, Ranka. And then I was like, this is fucking bullshit, all right? What are you doing, Masari? He's like, let's go, everybody. Listen to my goddamn song. Try again. Try again. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, stop, I hate this. This is the worst. Stop it, that infernal sound. Wait, the Basara of... Like, the power of Basara's song. It's... And then... Plus energy is cancelling out the minus energy. The power of darkness is useless here. He's like, no, I can't deal with this. No, the dark idol singer. No, I'm gonna. So, grabs Ranker, but I can. The weird little Vajra thing goes big bug mode again. It's like, oh wait, that thing's a little Vajra, I guess. Okay, sure. And uh, then just starts shooting everything. Uh, it's like, all oh, right, well, I'm friggin' out of here. Whatever, this is bullshit. Bye. It's like, thanks, Icon. And it's like, stop, Ranker. What are you talking about? It's a big win, Vajra bug. It's a awful monster. And then she's like, shut up, Alto. Not all Vajra are murderous space monsters. They're actually good, and my friend. And then Grace orders Brera to get Ranker out of here and leave the rest to her. She's like, all right. So they get out of here. And Grace is like, oh, jeez. Can't believe that Ranka um, tamed the Vajra. Truly, my little queen. She's like, oh, and you know, like, idol singer of darkness or whatever, it's got a ring to it. Quite the catchphrase. And she's like, maybe this Mugez of Ardus fella's got all the answers I've been looking for. Like, you know, how to take control of uh, Vajra's uh, network. And Vital has sensed that Mugez uh, his power is leaving the building or whatever. And then the Rose Knight shows up and is like, the power of love is uh, too much for Mugez Albados. It will always prevail. And then Rose Knight tells um, Mars to live on and find a way to defeat the Devil Ring and bring peace to the universe. And then Kisama, stop telling him what to do. He's stop being good. And then Takuri's like, wait, that means you're... It's like, you two are all a bunch of jokers. And he's like, alright, Rose Knight, let me your strength. Alright. And then... They Ultra Blast Metal, and he's like, oh, jeez! Black! He's like, oh, we, we, we did it! And then... 
mysterious face. And then the Rose Knight is like, we did it, nice work. Maybe my role is over now. And then of course the Rose Knight turned out to be Rose, what a surprise. And uh... You were the Rose Knight all along? I thought it was Marg, and she's like, yes Mars, it is! I have willingly allowed Marg's soul to possess my body, and we became the Rose Knight. Uh, it's like, oh okay, well that explains why I thought you were my brother then. Um, but um, Marg has told her that when the light defeats the power of darkness, the Devil Ring will vanish. And while that is a bit cryptic, uh, Takaru is like, alright, I'll go. Power of light, alright, sure, I guess I'll do that. But unfortunately, Mugays are barred us. Has accumulated enough energy to reincarnate his actual body, which means Sayori is of no further use. Mugays are barred us. So, Mugays are barred us is just that a little fella. There you go. Um, you guys are about us, uh, thinks that, um, yeah, so, uh, Earth was like, oh, jeez, this sucks, and Mugo's like, yes, you are right to fear my power, and you and all these humans need to be murdered, like, real quick. And Shinobu is like, no way, you gay arrow, you big piece of shit. Duh, Dan Cougar. And Takaru's here as well. And Alto's like, yeah, I'm alright. You sure you're alright, Dakar? You alright? He's like, yeah, I'm alright. Mark, Mark's here. My dead brother's been possessed. Rose, Rose, my girlfriend. She's like, yeah, Mark, don't worry. You can do it. Go, Mark. He's like, don't worry. We got the Cosmo Crash is good. I'm, I'm with her. I'm hanging out with the crew now. I'm back on board. We got all the pilots again. And because of that, Alto's not needed right now, so he can go pick up Ranker. Off he goes. Whoosh. Bye. And. Mugase is like, thank you, God. Ugh, whatever. I've got all of Earth's power at my disposal, and I'm about to become a true god over all of the universe as a pos proper apostle of the black knowledge. And Shinobu says, you're full of shit, dude. Godlike power. Just like Zul. And then uh, Ryoma thinks that, like, you know what? We could probably do with that, like, black knowledge stuff. You know, right? Like, that would probably help us out quite a lot, too. Like, we need to get us some of that, because all the bad dudes seem to have it. But Crow's like, I don't know, like... It seems to be like, like, internally he's like, I don't know, it seems like a pretty, like, bad dude thing that they do right now, so I don't know if we do need that. And Sayori's, uh... Unconscious body is like, but sorry, your power did it, nice work, dude, you fucked him off. And the 21st century security folks are picking up Sayori. And so now we can show Muge the power of love. The power of love? I know what you're gonna. It's like, hell yeah, the power of love is really good. Yet the arrows, eh, senpai? Alright, everybody, let's do it, Ryo. Let's do it. Let's beat him up. Alright, Shinobu, let's beat up Muge. Dear, curse you. The power of darkness is good, actually. Show you the strength of humans. Muge is all about you pile of shit. Yet the arrows, eh? I got the powerful boy. Can Parallel just finally find out the power of guns? No, because the guns don't work, whereas punching stuff really hard while loving something does work. It's good. Yeah, what do you think makes the weapons move? It's the power of love. Muscles? Yeah, but what makes the muscles move? What is the motivation that drives you to swing the sword to protect the world? Love for all living things. And as we go to the just a little fella. Must manly muscles? No, definitely not. Pointless. Spirit of space. Uh, 
And Dan Cougar. That was up a big fucking castle. You said it's a love of justice, exactly. Oh, look, it's a big skull getting him. Fun, this isn't love? Yeah, it is. <laughs> As expected, of Dan Cougar. He can eat that up. But his Mugue Zobalus, he's tiny. He's tiny and shit. He's just awful, I hate him, but he's small. He's not even super small, like the tiny man. Yeah, he's just always looking down in Dan Cougar, and then it's like, oh, actually, it's just the top of his head, he's got a hat. He's actually got a regular people face. Just a regular 80s beautiful face. Yeah, he doesn't give much of a shit. Why does that sword become wide in the dark? Just because it's a fancy sword design. Makes it more axe-like. Makes you think. And now all these skulls and ghosts and shit. Damage check. Oh. <laughs> Damage check! Oh, never mind. So, Amuga is like, it's pointless, you're all garbage, I'm too strong. He's like, Tempo Ravage Office is like, ah, the other Dan Cougar. It's like, yeah, we're Dan Cougar Nova! And they're the regular Dan Cougar, we've got two Dan Cougars! He's like, I don't really give a shit, actually. The machine has power, but not enough. The check this out, boing. It's like, whoa, hold up, man, dude, what are you doing? Duh. And now we're getting Aoi's unresolved psychological issues stemming from her youth as an orphan, which makes her the weak link in the machine. And she was like, hold on, Aoi, don't fucking listen to him. He's full of shit. You're actually really good. And she's like, wait, what? And then all of her teammates like, yeah, I mean. You've been doing fine until now. You mean that, like, that dude just doing a weird brain attack on you? Making you go, remember you're an orphan and it sucks when you were alone and scared. Oh, and it's like, yeah, but you got over that. And you're like, you're right. Right? He's like, yeah, I guess. I guess, actually, that dude's power is garbage. He's like, mm -hmm. But it turns out mostly uh, what the deal is, is that she's upset. Sort of that Shinobu's ending up with Sarah instead of her because she loves him. She's like, "Don't worry, I still think you're cool." He's like, "All right, Senpai, let's do it." And if Shinobu can't be a lover, he can still be a good role model. So he's like, "So she's like, yeah, so what?" He's like, wait, what? Humanity's pretty cool, but all this occult shit is garbage. And you're pretty tricksy, but you know, all in all, you're a pile of shit. What about the hobo man? No, like, he's 242. He's too, like, used to being shit on forever. He's like, hey, kiss somebody, you broke out of my mental trap. He's like, yeah, I mean, Dan Cook is pretty good, but he's like, let's go, Aoi. Okay, Senpai. The power of two Dan Cougars. Find and look to their true potential. What? Yeah, 
地獄だぜ愛の心にて悪しき空間を立つ Bayonets are cool as bayonets aren't even like the coolest form of knife. Fist bump, got him. <laughs> Impossible. Where did you get this power? It's the power of Dan Cougar, the power that will defeat you. Gonna、oh, no, curse you. <sighs> this is bullshit. I'm meant to be invincible. It's like, yeah, whatever, dude. You're going down. We'll fight you till the bitter end until you're done. And then Isabel Cronkite, that's right! Dan Cougar. Isabel! Isabel Cronkite! Right, how does he get me? I'm hanging out. Long time no see. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, I'm. Right, so, you're Dan Cougar never part. I've been chasing you all this time for the truth, and now I found it. And Usuka's like, yeah, I mean, I brought her here. Wait, what are you doing here? What the? And then, what the hell's a journalist doing here? Uh, if you guys allow, the ship is scrambling the network right now, which means I can stream this report direct to the Republic. The Republic, the Republic, and、uh, Vader's、uh, trying to take control again, but she's going to show the world the truth about what Zexus does. Remember, at the start of the stage, they remembered that they、uh, they mentioned that we don't get any of the credit for the good shit we do. So, going to show everybody all our good bullshit. Gonna, sh gonna show him the Zexus movement. Zexus movement? And then, Zero. I see. When word gets out that Aylors aren't doing anything, they'll lose public support. That's right, Aylors are fucking toast. So, Isabel's. Like, all the reporting's been bullshit and garbage.、Uh, she's been briefed on all the identities of everybody thanks to Uska. Nice work, Isabel. You're gonna do it. Yeah, so rather than doing the Wiseman shock of just showing all the bad things A Laws are doing, it's showing all the good things that. Like, it's like A Laws are sort of not doing anything here, and they're good people who are doing stuff. So instead of going, oh wow, we've got nobody to rely on, they're like, look at these guys. So let's go, you know, we've got this good shit. And then. Ningen May, friggin' human, what are you doing? So he sends in one of his silver troopers to deal with Utsuka, but Utsuka just fucking shoots it. And they're like, wait, what? And it's like, yeah, and then Shoto is like, yeah, Uska's actually he's really good at stuff. Don't don't worry about it. Like he's an Interpol man. He's like, hell yeah, Zexus, you concentrate. You guys are about us. Got it. Curse you, curse you, humans. It's like, shut up. You guys are about us. You going down? You garbage. You got the power level bullshit. Our power is brilliant. It's good. Get dunked on. You weird little fella. Actually, waging war with love is pretty sick. Love's got nothing to do with it. Exactly, that's why war's bad. Because love is good. Dude. Didn't need that. I wanted to do the go fast, but we can just go fast anyway, so it's fine. Does anyone ever slap back? No. Bright does get the shit beat out of him by、uh, fascists. But he doesn't slap them first, he just tells them that they're garbage men, so they beat him up.
usually when Bright slaps you, you go, yeah, I deserve that. Or you're stunned and you're like, wow, man. What the heck? to be like a true man, like that. I was just thinking, like, just laying there going, oh, this sucks. God, I freaking hate those guys. I'm gonna join the anti-Earth Union group. Fuck you. My plane boy flew all the way back down here? Why my plane boy flew all the way fucking back down here? Why the fuck would you do that? Sing at this joker. You did you sang at a dinosaur and you didn't give a shit. <laughs> nice work, Bizarro. You fucking did it, dude. You really fucking got him this time. Oh, there's anything from Dan Cougar. Hey, when he sings at the demons, they get hurt. I mean, the Vajra just leaves because he makes them all calm down and go, Yeah, fighting is bad, bye. And he fucks up aim as well. That boy just let him break. What a powerful boy. I'm just into a pine cone. In theory, they could use Song Energy to power a weapon, but then Bissar just wouldn't sing, so he wouldn't make any, so they can't. You refuse to believe that? Listen, I'm not supposed to agree with music, you just say it's glasses? Well, um, you don't have to believe it, it's true. It's like saying you don't believe in tables. The 
Bob would really help. Someone in this era of or whatever, let's get this dude, Toga. Yeah, let's do it. Show him what the Grand Knight sword. You humans, your stupid bullshit. The power of darkness will defeat you all. No, because we're the Grand Knights, the fangs that defend the, the fangless and uh, the shield of justice. For years of all this, I'm Toga, you're going down. Trades of history, obviously not tables, you don't bring tables. Well, I mean, they still exist whether you use them or not, so. And a desk is basically a table. I would say, in fact, it's a table that has just been given a purpose of some sort, like a specific purpose, but it's still actually a table. It's a table often with drawers in and compartments. But it's otherwise a table. Tablo ergo sum, mother flipper. Now we gotta do an attack. Oh no, he's all jacked up. Can't do nothing because this boy got him. Movement down, can't move. He sucks. It's fine. Now I'm going to beat up one of these dudes a little bit, so you can see the dynamic kill with all the maids looking at Sandman, that beautiful boy. He's going to crash into this dude with a plane. Still good in Super Rose V? Yes, he's incredible. And not only because he's the only person that can use the Zeta's finisher, and he has an incredible cutting for it. Ain't gonna hit me! You're not even gonna talk shit. I thought Banjo was gonna yell about the power of the sun eliminating darkness or whatever, but no, he instead just flicks his foot and hits this tiny dude with a cannonball. That's even the fucking point. What's even the fucking point? You guys from uh, Dan Kuga. Mm. 
special. I don't know about this power of darkness and black knowledge bullshit, but it all sounds like a bunch of bullshit and I don't like any of it. You bad guys keep it. The black knowledge is more than humanity can handle. Garbage like you could not possibly figure it out. Yeah, whatever, I got this sphere, like, <laughs> all you occult dudes are the same and full of bullshit. I got this sphere or whatever, I don't care, whatever, you're going down. Which characters in all Super Robot Wars? Um, Mazinga. Like the like the core three are a Mazinga series, a Geta series, and um, a Gundam series. But there's a couple on the Game Boy that don't have um, a Geta in. And there's a couple that don't uh, on the Game Boy that don't have Universal Century Gundam in. They have Seed instead. <laughs> yeah, it grows like flying around doing fast moves, and he's like, "All oh, right, I'll just stand here and just shoot you a lot. Like it's fine." It's okay, now this boy can run up the highway. It's showtime. Like, I think there's only two games, I think, that don't have a Mazinger in out of all of them, other than the OG only, because obviously you wouldn't be in them. It's fine. This is a no problem. I ain't even bother with you. Mars! Guess don't tell me about you. Eh, uh, you didn't finish me off. I'm good. Mark's spirit in the rose, help me out. And we'd feel impossible. This is bullshit. The devil ring is supposed to shorten your lifespan. It's like, yeah, but I don't give a shit. The power of love is too good. So, let's go, Mugate. I'll show you the power of love. Love. Power. Misetero. <laughs> Yeah, Amuro, Bright, and Char are the, the OG Gundam boys. And then Camille is from the sequel to that. But the Setsuna and the other dudes and the Hero, they're all from different Gundam universes. Yeah, Setsuna is like their attempt to try and catch the seed and wing magic in a bottle again by making beautiful boys the women are like, but like it's so completely manufactured instead of going, oh, what they liked about it was characters that like interact with each other and like talk to each other and are alright compared to just complete trash. Just, oh look, you made an ending which is them hanging out on a beach cutting each other's hair when they don't even speak fucking ten words to each other in the first season <laughs> yeah Taku is extremely beautiful
Jajinin. God, um, Esther with the big numbers. And that's Schwartz in the Stelva. Dude's vomiting fire at Marguerite. Gross. No, they don't, they don't make jokes on Dakaru with hair and eyes and twinkling leaves. That's just what they friggin' do. They've always done that. Well before Dakaru was ever even twinkling. Like I think the only time the see the double O boys even like hang out is like the first five episodes or something and then they're all off doing their own shit. It's Mag Marguerite, sadly they're in in Super Z3. Well hold on for spoilers and also disagreed. So, and also remember the spoilers, and by that I'm saying don't talk about it till we get there, please. Can't hit Armor. Right in the dick every time, Amaro, Jesus Christ. And then the Vulcans for the dynamic kill because Amaro has no respect for moon men. Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, Big Bang punched that idiot. Big gold hand punched it in the fucking space. Felt on beam that dude. Got him. This guy, double boomeranged. So that's how it is. <laughs> Not going in. Hell yeah. Double the boomerang. Look at the jetpack boomerang. Got him. Got him. Oh wow, real mature, dude. Attacking... Like, attacking the most evil person on the team. Now, if you want to do the power of darkness, why are you attacking that lady? Unless you're doing it to... <gasps> he's doing it as a ruse, you know he's lost. So he's doing it to make it look like she's not evil, I get it. Who's the most evil? Shah, no. Shah is just a broken person. Like, he does really bad shit. But he's not evil. 
了解すぐに回避行動を Like, he is a broken person who tries to do good things. It's just that he's too busted. Duh. Hey, this dude singing, I hate it. It's Bullshit, it's over. Hey, listen to the song from my heart, alright? Listen to my song, so shut up. Duh. This man and his singing. Duh. It pains me so. What a pointless attack. And obviously he didn't do anything. Yeah, let's blow up that dude. With the Mega Mondo made attack. How many are there in that thing? Uh, I think it's the five in the regular Gravion, and then Sandman in the other one, and then they'll combine to a big boy for the seven. But when you kill something, you get the dynamic kill, and it's good as hell. <laughs> Look at him! The maids, they love the Sandman. He's so dreamy. Majestic, he's like a tiger. Who's your commander is like in Transformers? I, I don't know what Transformers you've seen. But no, they're each in their own little bit. Like the like drill maid is in the drill bit. She's in the arms. Well, she's in one of the arms. Um, Aino's in the other arms. I think Toga's the main dude in the main robot. And then everybody else is just in shit plugged into him. And Sandman's in the other robot. He's in the God Sigma Gravion. That weird little fella. I hate that weird little fella. He's so stupid. He's the worst weird little fella.
It to be the left leg with no fire, the right leg? Yeah, definitely. You definitely don't want to be in one of the feet. Take feet over being a drill missile? No way. No way. If you're a drill missile, then it's because you love drills. Like, this joker here is one big robot in the middle, with then a bird on the head, and then just the two little fellas on the feet. Like, these bits here on the shin, they're the middle robot's feet. Like, most of it is just one dude. And then it's, oh, you get to be a shit dude on the foot. Brilliant, great. And then the guy on the back in the bird. Same for this Joker, where it's main robot, little bird on the head, two little fellas on the feet, and the lady on the back. Like, why? Don't be a shoe. That's the worst. Is that all the bad dudes? Okay, no, there's okay, there's this dude. Oh, and then that guy right there, sure, okay. Eiji might be in the legs, actually. I've got Sigma Mary on. He might be in the chest, actually, because I think he's in the big plane. But he could be in the, the feet. whole hand around this tiny man and uh, annihilating him. I wouldn't be surprised if Mizuki was in the chest just because, you know, she's the booby one. I think Lil's the backpack? I want to say Lil is in the backpack. Because she's not in the star, but maybe she's in the feet, in one of the feet. Not sure. Okay, okay, yeah, so AG is the right leg. Um, Mizuki is the left leg. Um, Runa's the left, and Aina's the right drill. Um, Leel is the backpack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got him, we did it. Bad attack! When they uh, shoot the drill off, the lady does that, and when um, they power it up to do the big move, she's also in charge of that sometimes. And when um, they eject for the um, Gladius attack, AG's in charge of that, making that spin round in a big circle. But it's mostly Toga's in charge and they just wanted a power output, also help Yell moves. 
Like, AG helps fire the guns whenever they have to do any gun move. Did a casting of filling this man with the power of love, but it's okay, like, it's got like all of the SP. She's basically Vivian, but not as cool. That dude, he, okay, he can only go to 70, I guess. Fine. It also turns off loads of his special abilities, because he sucks. Alright, Batman, you can go and down, because you're a big pile of bullshit. Do you have this joke up? No, not yet. And it was like, Kizama, you can't talk to me that way, the power of darkness, the black knowledge, you guys don't know what you're in for. Yeah, but also, fuck you. Okay, Shinobu. You know. Alright, Muge, you're going down. Power of darkness, or whatever, is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, the Yaroze. Look at them swapping swords. I wouldn't be surprised if that picture was drawn by uh, Mario or something. How dare you! Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump. Every combo attack that ends with a fist bump is better than every combo attack that doesn't end in a fist bump. Except for the one that we get later. Got him. How could you? How could you? It's over. You're done. You, you're toast. Get out of here. He blows up. It's like, hey, we did it, we beat Mugo Zawas, he sucks. Don't worry, humanity is good. We did it, Senpai, hell oh, yeah, nice work. And Basara helped him with this thing, he's like, oh yeah, I just spoke from my heart, it's what I do. It's like, that's the power I love. Moonwell's dudes are all done, and Gestalt had a bad time too, and he's done about the that knowledge or whatever, but dimensional bullshit, maybe it'll get fixed, who knows. And then Michelle's like, where the hell is Zalto and Renka? So, Alto finds Ranka looking out over the city, like in a little tame Vajra, with Brera hanging out too. And uh, she says what, um, she asks what originally motivated Alto to want to fly. And he uh, says how his um, mother was always, uh, like, frail and weak, um, for as long as he could remember. And uh, the two of them spend hours just gazing at the, the sky of their colony. On one particular occasion, uh, she wished that she could see the real sky. With endless blue to the horizon and little fluffy clouds. And to Alto, who was born and raised on a colony ship, that sounded like a crazy fairy tale. And then Ranka's like, damn, everybody wants their freedom. Uh, she tells Alto that she started recovering pieces of her memory. And as scary as it is to say, she suspects that uh, today's bullshit might be uh, the fault of her songs. So she's going to go to where the Vajra are. And if for no other reason uh, other than to return an uh, eye to his own kind. And Alto's like, but that's a really bad idea. Like, because you know, we're sort of locked in this like life or death 
fight right now. But Ranka's made up her mind and Vera's going to enable her and go with her. Take out a little love, take you. Well, that opens with a fist bump. And then shoots your stupid fist bump at him. It's good as hell. Um, he's going. He's going to protect her. Um, Ranka tells uh, Alto that she was hoping to go with him at her side. Yeah, Alto, bye. I love you. Uh, Ranka! Don't go, Ranka! Yeah, it's hey, Alto, you did it! And now he's like, Ranka is! And now he's got to tell everybody else that she's gone to friggin' space. And the Grace is like, hey, hey, got him! Lucky me! Got him! Ranka, hey, we got it! Hoo ha, hoo ha! My little queen! Perfect! New Games Albatas! Hoo hoo! You give me the bullshit! Gonna look at all this data, and uh, now she just needs to wait for uh, the insect queen to appear, and then it's showtime. So we got to deal with that coming up. So we just got to wait for Ranka to fucking get there. So Ranka's gone to the Vajra, and she's probably headed to the Neo planets. Uh, Frontier Fleet Recon has like gone. That's probably where a Vajra nest is. Um, Mission was her initial plan was to use Ranker as the core of an expedition to wipe the bugs out once we found the nest, but it's going to be harder now that she's just, you know, gone there. Um, the alternative is a full scale human assault, but that means getting Alors and White Fang to work together, and that ain't happening. Um, so, a lot of like, in the military are waiting for something like uh, the Zex movement to like sort themselves out and galvanize what they're going to do, um, and so are he's going to help stop Vader from being used for madness right now because she's a wizard um, and you know it's starting to sound like it might actually work out uh, and if Alor's lose support and implodes and the Federation as a whole become vulnerable to internally there you go Zero's plan <laughs> uh, but unfortunately let's get a message from the phone what is it chief uh, unfortunately uh, Relina is being removed as queen um, by the innovators and Zero's like, that's crazy. What, what the? What? Why? Why would they do that? Like, like ridiculous amount of chaos is gonna follow losing such a charismatic leader. Um, why is Alors gonna put their own neck in the noose? And maybe something to do with uh, Relina's replacement, Emperor Charles of Britannia. <laughs> So Mr. Charles gets on the mic with the Federation President and the first uh, words out of his mouth is like Humans are not created equal and nor are they raised equally and he's just doing his big speech that he did before about how humans suck Yeah, he's like uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. and the, it's inequality that drives humanity forward and its progress and it's good and humans exist to be separated and segregated and they cause friction in fighting and that powers progress and he says that equality is the true evil and no one who, is, uh, who shuns fighting is entitled to even be born in this world and let all who are uh, here may they fight to the death to win or lose it all God bless the universe Yeah, like, Charles just goes, fuck you, got mine. And, like, it's really easy for him to do that as the man who is in charge of everything. But, you know, 